This playthrough is rated T for teen. Episode 23, Nevim emerges. Captain, we've arrived at White Star, where we lost contact with the spy plane. White Star? It's the code name of that large object. Oh, well, that thing's huge. How do we miss it? I see a fitting code name. Boone, please search for the missing spy craft. Yes, Captain. What is it? A rapidly approaching object from the White Star. What? Bugs. Don't you hear him? We need the working man here. That's... It's an AGX-02 spider. I ran into it in a previous mission. Yeah, at the beginning of the game, so... Or during a cutscene, anyway. Then they must be... Like, uh, yeah, it's like when you first start the game or whatever. Then they must be operating from the White Star. Most likely, and they took down the spy craft. Exclamation point. What should we do, Captain? Deploy Gigan and Katina's unit. All hands rig for battle. But wait for my order to attack. Yes, Captain. Just my luck to end up in enemy territory. Scared? Then get off the Gigan. Me scared? Never. It's a chance to test my luck. I'm better with the Gigan. Besides, yours is a custom paint job, and it's meant for aces. Man, am I jealous. Then I'll paint the Gigan with your blood. Now, now, enough bickering. Octo one, I'll open up a path. The enemy's all yours. Lieutenant, our orders were to... Shut up! If you disobey me, I'll use your blood for Gigan's too. You were serious about that? But, Lieutenant... You know we need... You know we need to get the upper hand. But we're only supposed to collect enemy data. And other, other teams aren't here. That's exactly my point. We have to compensate. We don't know what we're getting ourselves into. We should get the data first. I agree with Radha. I admire your bravery, but isn't this a bit much? These enemies aren't ordinary, these aren't ordinary enemies. They're alligators. Yeah, we won't have a fighting chance. That's right, Katina. I'll show you how to relax. Huh? How? Oh no, not yoga! Yoga? Is it that bad? Of course, it's good for your mind. Are you trying to sabotage us? Now let's go. No, I didn't. Apparently Radha's yoga is must be something different. Katina, wait! It's useless, Radha. I guess so. Should we go to... Definitely. I hope they'll be okay. It's like it always... It's, well, it's always like this. The rest is up to them. But anyway, we're playing completely new characters, even though we're on the Ryusei path. If you play Kiyosuke's path, you know who these characters are specifically. Let's go over them really quickly. All right, we got ourselves the... Here you custom, piloted by Lafina uh, Einfeld herself. Out of the two captains in the game, there's Daitetsu on our team and Lafina. Lafina overall is the better captain because of her skill set and abilities. However, she pilots the worst of the, of the crafts, the Hiryu Custom. The Hagane is a much better craft overall, but Daitetsu is the worst of the two captains. But she has a, the wit, what makes her really good is her sub uh, co-pilot, Sean Webley. He, uh, get her, his skills complement hers perfectly in terms of what she needs. Because he's got mercy, strike, luck, guard, and snipe. And she's got vigor, gain, trust, and bless, and she'll get more later on, um, obviously. But her skill set really works. Like I said, she, if she just only had the Hagane, she'd be the best, po uh, best uh, space captain in the game overall. Anyway, she's got command, support two, SP up. Yeah, give her, uh, if you're gonna do Lafina, give her, um, gunfight, SP regen, um, uh, and, uh, mental, and that'll perfect her specifically. Um, uh, but yeah, she's a really good character. Um, though, because on this pathway, since we haven't been using her, you might just still dump her anyway and leave Daitetsu. However, if you want to get a, a specific item later on, we do actually need to use her. We need to get her to level, I think it's like 34 by a specific stage. So we will be ended up using her. Well, obviously she's required for battles, but we want to purposely get her levels. But anyway, she piles the hero custom. Uh, not very good mobility. She is going to get smacked no matter what. You want to build up her armor eventually. Really good in space. She's got the E field for protection. So basically, as long as it's not bullet damage, she'll be able to block it in if she has energy. Uh, and then weapon wise, she's got chain grenades, auto cannon, homie missile, long range missile, dual beam cannon, and the gravity cannon. That's her big, that's her big heavy hitter. Kind of like the tronium cannon is big for Daitetsu. The gravity cannon's her heavy hitter. Uh, and then uh, yeah, for Sean, there's not much to do. Sean, other than he obviously he doesn't have uh, bonus skills or whatever. He just helps with his uh, S, uh, with his own unique spear points. All right, we've got Russell here. Russell's probably my favorite character in the game because Russell is a very generic dude. 
that's just surrounded by, you know, weird pilots and crazy machines, and he's just a regular dude that's just trying to survive. And in any other anime or game, he would probably have died as a red shirt. But no, he survives. Uh, Russell is a really good support character. Not the best support character, unfortunately. Depending on which path you're on, he may get dropped, unfortunately, because Russell competes with Garnett and Radha for support status overall and unfortunately if you're if you're not on the kiosuke path and he's a little bit far behind you'll probably not use him but i still like russell anyway uh russell is in a guest pit mark uh, mark 2m we will swap him out for that eventually if you want to use him don't use the mark m we'll give him a better machine but yeah stats overall are okay um really he he is a weird he's a defense support which means you want him next to people to take the heavy hits instead uh, because his defense stat gets pretty good and he gets probably the highest sp in the game because of his sp up uh and just his levels give us a give him a ton of sp so if you're going to use russell give him sp regen uh mental and command will make him a perfect fighter it, or if you're if you're not comfortable with command you could give him something else to swap out instead but i would i would say those are the three big ones to give him um and yeah, he comes with Strike, Guard, Trust, Cheer, and Face. So he's got all the great support abilities. Uh, his uh, mecha is Attack, Split Missile, M Machine Gun, and Jet Magnum. So very solid uh, stuff, but unfortunately it's just a guest gun, so it's a standard real robot machine. Then we got Tatsuki and the Giga Scudo, a really good mech. It is called the Shield. Uh, it's the cursed mobile. Uh, you, you'll know more about it on uh, Kyosuke's path. Uh, this is a really good machine. Weirdly enough, Tatsuki is probably not the best pilot for this, weirdly enough. But hey, let's go over this. Tatsuki Shin Shinguji. He is a really good pilot. He is similar to Erm in terms of his ability. Probably on par. Maybe better, depending on how you view things. He gets really good stats. He's really good at melee. We want to give him a different mech, though, later on. Um, you'll see when we actually uh, use him. But uh, he's got pretty good uh, abilities as well. He's got Strike, Luck, Excel, Guard, and Valor. He has Telekinesis and Lucky. Um, Totsuki can be built many ways. You'll probably want to give him SP, uh, Regen, Attack, Revenge. Uh, and then the final one can change. You could give him Infight, would be, wouldn't be would be a bad idea. You could give him Mental to use his abilities. Um, depends on how you're viewing things or who you're... You might even get, if you want to leave him in the Giga Scundo, give him Expert and they'll reduce the energy cost because the Giga Scudo uses a lot of energy. But yeah, the Giga Scudo has a really high armor. Look at that, 1900. It's going to get smacked, but if you build up its armor, it's not going to take a ton of damage, except from unique situations. Uh, uh, you want to build its energy up, too. He's got AV field for protection. He's a uh, big unit, good in space. Uh, he's got Giga Burst. Unfortunately, Giga Burst hurts at your allies, so only use this if you know you can you know, get them away from other characters. He's got Giga Knuckle for melee, Sheath Thunder for range. He's also got the Giga Blaster for range as well. But uh, weirdly enough, Sheath Thunder, even its range is still technically physical, weirdly enough. Uh, Giga Blaster is really good for range, and yeah, look how much it eats up in energy. And the Urgano, Uragano, or whatever, as is a big attack. Um, yeah, this is a really good mech. Like I said, Toski, weirdly enough, is probably the best, not the best pilot for it overall. And another big thing about him is he gets Excel. So this fight's weird because we have to protect Katina because she's a neutral unit right now. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go over the mission before I go over her, her really quick. Anyway, the winning condition is all enemy shot down. Katina, the losing condition is Katina shot down and mothership shot down. I don't know why they call it the mothership. It's the key to your custom. But anyway, if that gets shot down. But uh, anyway, uh, we also need to clear the map within six turns. This can be kind of tough depending on how things go about. And there's a possibility Katina could get killed. So you want to make sure the Giga, Giga Scudo is up front and takes all the hits. Because uh, otherwise, if she dies, you have to redo the map. So... Uh, but anyway, let's go over Katina really quick. She's actually a pretty good pilot overall, mainly because if you get her in Kiyosuke's path, she has Valor really early, so she can get some pretty early, like, kills and with double damage. Um, but anyway, she pilots the uh, Guestment Mark 2M pilot custom job in red, but it's not any different from a brand or M. It's just painted different, so it's the same. Nothing different there. Uh, Katina Tarasco I said she's a pretty, overall, a pretty good pilot. You wouldn't call her the best pilot, but she's a very solid pilot. You might want to put her in your team and give her, you know, a specific uh, mech. Um, her range usually tends to get a bit higher, and she has a decent hit. The only problem is, is her, her evade isn't super good, so she's going to get smacked. So on Kiyosuke's path, it's kind of hard to use her at the beginning because of that. Later on, if you get her the right mech, she can be a lot better. Anyway, she comes with Prevail level 3, Revenge, and Attacker. Um, Prevail doesn't really isn't as good on her, to tell you the truth, but they get, that's what you got. 
Uh, if you want to beef up Katina, give her SP regen. Um, uh, gunfight would also be very solid. Um, and uh, mental. But you've got a, quite a few options with uh, Katina as well because of the way she's uh, um, built. Let me look up. I just need to look up her specific. Um, you have to write all this stuff down because of like how each character can be can be built. It can be a bit crazy. Uh, Katina, yeah, give her SP regenerate, support, and mental are the three abilities you really want to put her in. Um, there is a mech later on that really works for her, but we don't get that till the end of the game. So for now, maybe leave her, put her in a, um, a super robot or something like that, or, uh, because a real robot doesn't really work for her her stats. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else. Nope, I guess that's it. But yeah, she's a pretty solid pilot. You might want to use her depending on how you've been building your other characters. All right, and finally, the final support character. Let's take a look at her. This is Radha Biraban. Uh, as you can tell, what nation is she from? But anyway, uh, Radha is a really good support character. She's similar to Garnet in terms of uh, strength. Um, so she competes with Garnet and Russell for a support slot. Um, usually you want to have two support slots per group. And Radha is really good because of the abilities, because she got Focus, Alert, Bless, Attune, and others that really help with uh, with it. But another good thing about Radha is she comes with SP Regenerate right off the bat. So um, she also has Prophecy and Support Level 2. Um, you want to give her uh, Mental uh, and SP Up and Command, and that'll that'll make her a really good support character, because she's going to want to be in the thick of it to heal people, or at least... Uh, um, cast Blast to get you some early in-game uh, money. Um, she pilots the Schultzfold. We've already seen one of those before. I wouldn't leave her in this because she's not meant to be smacked all the time. Um, so we've had those from Rai. So overall, she's a really good support character. I'd probably use... In this pathway, I'll probably use her and Garnet because, um, uh, like I said, with SP Regen, she's already leagues above, above Russell. So... All right, let's move everyone in. And yeah, we need to make sure that we... Um, we'll, uh, okay, and we've got the spiders here. we got six spiders, and we'll have more later on, so. I right, said so it can be kind of, this battle can be a little tough. Oh, yeah, with the Gigas Gundo, you want to be, you want to be defending. Oh, they're hitting him with, a um, uh, spider web, but he's got Excel, so he can, he can take the hits. And yeah, they're hitting Katina. Oh, she actually can dodge. She can't dodge, it's just, you know. Okay, we well can turn off the again. Uh... Yeah, luckily first round they'll usually try to hit her with uh, spider nets, but afterwards. Uh... Oops, they had to defend. I mean, you could probably evade and it wouldn't, he wouldn't really take that much more damage. All right, unfortunately, as a as an NPC, we can't control her. However, we can heal her, and luckily for us, Lafina has trust, so she can heal him. Also, Russell has trust as well, so he can he can heal as well, so either one, so. All right, let's uh, start working on this lady here. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's do focus. I might cast Bless uh, like once or twice in this battle to get some extra money, but at the beginning, I'm not going to do that, so. Yeah, Rada it will say, like, mantras before she uh, she attacks yeah her pit her joke in the whole game is she's really into yoga ah really hmm. oh that's kind of disappointing actually all right well let's get you up here let's hit you with auto cannon all right let me go ahead and use we'll use uh your trust on katina Basically, I'm trying to get less people off uh, Katina if I can help it. So, All right, let's show off his Giga, one of the Giga Skundu's attacks. Yeah, he's lucky because lucky basically has the ability to possibly um, crit or avoid damage, depending on what it is, and it depends on what its rank is too. All right. Yeah, we're gonna skip. Actually, I could show off Russell's dialogue. You have to be careful about Russell getting shot down, too. 
Probably have to, the rest of the time I'll probably have to block with him. might be going the way of the dodo here so I was hoping they'd go after the Giga Scudo but well better than then the Katina that's for sure okay hmm, probably should have beaten him by now that's the problem with them going after uh, Russell here all right let's go and heal and Russell I need to start moving towards uh, this direction here Um, let's see. Go on, focus. Not enough, huh? Alright. Uh, let's see, you took some damage. Do we have Sheath Thunder yet? Yeah, I was about to say we should have that now, so that should be enough to... hoping that'd be enough to finish him off. Well then, we're not doing very good with uh, finishing off uh, characters. I should have finished him off this turn, that's the problem. Uh-oh, hmm. uh well, there's the next set of enemies. Enemy backup units are here! We'll end up at the spycraft unless we retreat. But we won't be able to recover our mechs from here. We also risk leading them to other sectors. What should we... What should we... The captain will make that decision. Dot, dot, dot. We'll try to flee when there is a break in the attacks. A wise decision, Captain. As usual. Soon, we have Katina retreat to our position. Yes, Captain. Here you custom not to run. Retreat. Well, but there are still many enemies remaining. It's the captain's orders. Don't worry, I'll defeat them all. Every last one. Wait, Lieutenant, what should we do, Captain? Dot, dot, dot. We have no choice but to chase after her now. <sighs> I suppose so. Yeah, she's still under control, so. All right. Yeah, we don't want support because you can't take the smacking right now, so. Yeah, these are new uh, Neliots or whatever. They're improved versions of them, so they're a little bit tougher than their counterparts, so. Oh, yeah, I can show off Sheep Thunder. I forgot I haven't showed it off yet, so. All right, nice, yeah. Um, let's go. Um, what's he doing? Is he? Oh, he's got one. I, I think I'll do a thousand damage to us. Um, yeah. At least it doesn't do a ton of damage, but still. Alright, she can take the hits. At least she can take a couple of hits. They'll probably go after her, I bet. Hmm. Charge, that's probably gonna hurt him, so. Yeah, this kinda sucks that Russell's getting attacked if he had more uh, energy. We need to keep moving to the left. All right, yeah, Russell. God, <laughs> oh, Russell, 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 my friend. I need to cast. Uh, I need to cast a guard on you, <laughs> so we. So this won't happen anymore. All right. Let's uh, hit you with trust a couple times. Yeah, one more time will be good. I need to have everyone move because we need to be able to start hitting the other targets. So, yeah, everyone has, here has the same music, by the way. So, you didn't get a hit, did you? No. Okay.
Let's see, what turn are we on? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little behind on my uh, damages, though. Oh, well, not much I can do about that, so. Definitely behind on my uh, what I can do. Oh well, not much I can do on that. So. I need to build up his uh, will just so he can. Uh, I don't. Can he use that ability yet? Yeah, I can. Okay, that'll help in the next. Who's over next? Now let's have you finish him off. Final set of enemies. More of them! Well, we're close to the enemy HQ. How can you be so calm? At this rate, we'll be goners. Lieutenant Katina, we won't last long. We have to retreat. Not yet. We can still fight. You don't get it, do you? If we retreat, we fail. And so go ahead and bomb if you want. Sheesh, if only Kyosuke or Valetta was here. Ugh. What the? Did you feel that, Tusky? Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. Captain, our sensors indicate gravity tremors. Because of the reinforcements? No, it's... What the? Oh, Mark. It's a DC's grandson from the Hagane report. What's it doing? What's it doing here? Hmm. Oh, man, I hate to say it, but I was right. If it's a DC, then it's an enemy. Attack! I'm afraid you are mistaken. Yeah, Shu, we were wondering what you've been doing. Wait, where's Masaki if Shu's here? Mistaken. You've broken talls with the DC. Yes. Do you think I'm stupid? Can't you invent a better lie? Why not say you want revenge for buying a mayor? Is this what I can expect from the inhabitants of Earth? Incidentally, I was asked by those two to save you. Save us? Do you expect blind gratitude? I think he's telling the truth. Exclamation word question mark. But his true goal is to observe the white star. I'm glad Captain Daitetsu's right hand man is so smart. Well, don't mind us. Please go about your business. Hey, XO, you're making me look bad. Now, now, this war is not about status. But Professor Shu Shirakawa, if you intend to join us in battle, you better be prepared. Very well. Now I shall learn that the aliens on the white on White Star truly came from. All right. Yeah, we got Shu as a temporary party. Well, temporary party member, I guess. He's an NPC, but he'll basically. Yeah, he's 25. He's got. Yeah, he doesn't have as much HP when we fought him on a, uh, in the base. But uh, he's still got Warfield, Energy Regen, Spirit Block. You know, he's still a house in terms of his, uh, what he can do. He'll basically one shot anyone he fights. Um, but anyway, we got new enemies here. Uh, I think they're called Mishis or Mishrays or whatever. But yeah. All right, let's see. And we have to do it by turn six. Great. All right, cool. Yeah, I wish I had set these guys earlier, but uh, yeah, I've been getting a bit unlucky with my with my targets. So. All right. Now well, we'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah, when I play tested this, I was able to get them on um, turn five or turn four or whatever. So I, I had a couple turns to mess around. But unfortunately, oh yeah, Katina. Her big thing is. Uh, oh yeah, that was Shu. Sorry, I was thinking of Katina for a second. Captain, there's an object quickly approaching the area. Exclamation point. So they finally appeared. Masaki. That. I finally found you, Shu. Masaki, you need to grow up. Shut up! I'm coming for you! You sure you want to do that? Look around you. From my point of view, you're more than da dangerous than the aliens! You haven't changed a bit. You never look at the big picture. You're likely to be piloting the elemental lord. I don't need to hear your crap! I wasn't planning to fight you, but... Wait, Masaki, listen! Who the heck are you? Captain the Hear You at Lafina Einfeld. I don't know what happened between you and the doctor. Then there's no reason to butt in. Sorry. 
but you shouldn't be fighting each other right now. Exclamation point. As you can see, alligators are about to invade Earth. We need to protect it by joining forces. Great idea, except that you can't trust him. Surely you heard about the South Pole incident. Yeah, but we have to concentrate on the present. The captain is right. Yeah, if Earth falls, Legaius could be next. What are you gonna do, Misaki? I don't trust you, but Captain Lafita has a point. Dot, dot, dot. If you do anything suspicious, I'll take you down. We shall see. All right, Misaki joins the group, so let's see what he's... Yeah, unfortunately, can't do Flash, unfortunately, so that's a little bit of a problem. All right, let's see. Okay, we're gonna need to, yeah, I guess cast Guard on us so, so we can actually start hitting things. Without like taking too much damage, so. I right, take a look at the creatures we're fighting. Big old birds, I thought they were bug themed. Uh oh, uh, did that beam come from where I thought it did? Just wondering. Okay. Uh, oh, you got hit kind of badly. All right, let's, uh, let's trust you as well. Okay. Yeah, the way to even this out just a little bit is I need to cast... Uh, I'll hit Shu in it, but Shu can take the hit. For sure. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know if I'll kill any of them, but I'll hit uh, Strike and uh, everything there. Okay, I'll take you on, Giga Burst. But yeah, this will hurt. Uh, this will hurt you, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> Even with all that. All right. Yeah, we only defeated one. Oh well. Um. Yeah, I need to I need to take out the biggest targets or the ones that have like no HP damage. So, uh, let's see. I don't think she's gonna. I was trying to see if there's really anything that she could. I don't think she could finish that guy off anyway. I'm casting those anyway, just in case. Okay, I didn't think so, but. All right, let's see. Okay, Twin Bean Cannon, you've got the most HP. All right. Even though it's turn six, as long as this is done by the end during their turn, we should uh, we should be good. We're cutting it really, really close, though. They're probably going to go after her, actually. Yeah, she's most likely to hit, though, so. Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Well, we'll see what Shu does. If Shu attacks or whatever, then we might have it. Or, uh, she'll hit him, so. Alright, got the Battle Mastery. I was, I was worried for a second. I was like, oh, man, maybe she'll do enough damage. Alright. Enemy has retreated. That was pretty close, yeah. That's the problem with this battle mastery, it's a little bit up to chance, depending on how things happen. Enemy has retreated. Now is our chance to retreat. Yes, all PTs return to the ship. We leave at once. I'm done here. The chosen ones can take care of the rest. What do you mean, Shu? It's useless to chase me, Misaki. What? I don't plan on making a move anytime soon. You must decide whether or not to believe me. <laughs> you bastard! Well then, best of luck. Wait! Forget it, you can't catch him. Meow. Ugh, that bastard, what's he up to? We've escaped White Star. Not Red Star, or Red Dwarf, right? Oh, that White Star. No, no. And the enemy? There's no sign of him. We're being safe for the time being. We can't ease up yet. Uh, UCC troops are still in the area. Yes, all hands. Stay at Ballast Station 3. Yes, ma'am. By the way, has Misaki responded to our call? Yes, the sidebuster is on course to land. Then, after it lands, show him to the bridge. Understood. Why didn't you follow my orders? Well, your job is to watch my back. But, but, 
Oh, come on. You just made the captain's orders, too. That'll be a hundred. No, a thousand lashings. What? That many? If Gyosuke or Valetta were here, it'd be different. There's only so much we can do. But that's why we need to handle it. Okay, okay. What happened to her after Lieutenant Kiyosuke and his team left? The lieutenant. I read about you in the Hagane report, and I believe we've met before. So what? Cut the chit-chat and get to the point. Captain Daitetsu of the Hagane wrote highly to you in his report. He called you and the Sidebuster valuable allies. I guess he's smarter than he looks. Fate must have crossed our paths. Will you help us? Yeah, why not? Really? Like, why are you so surprised? Well, I didn't think I'd get you to agree so easily. If we really are being attacked by aliens, then it'd be better to be stupid for us to fight amongst ourselves. Besides, I doubt Shu will make a move anytime soon. Yeah, seems like he plans to wait and see what happens. I wonder too, but we have a duty to protect the Earth. So I'll help you guys. Thank you, Misaki. Captain, we received a message from Admiral Norman. What does it say? The Hiryu Custom must retreat to the fort defense line. We are to meet up with the Hagane. Understood. The Hagane? It's been six months. Damn, Aerogator is making a move, huh? The Hiryu has encountered enemy units from the White Star. Are they okay? Yes, Lafina lacks experience, but she's a natural leader. Also, your former adjutant, Sean Webley, is with her. Uh, figures assigning a novice in our mission. A monitor White Star via satellite. Have the Hagane meet up with the Hear You Custom ASAP. Yes, uh, sir. Run, Argon, assembly, complete. Uh, but I wonder why Radha and Valletta adjusted it so you can shoot the metal destroyer without the T-Link system. Ingram's orders were to collect data from multiple pilots, but the power output has been reduced and it's unable to connect with the SRX. I guess it beats not having enough A AUX parts with our gun. Okay, now for the finishing touches on the Huckabee Mark II. Huckbine. I think it's Huckbine, but I'm so used to saying Huckabee, so let's call a bullet. Eat around. Where'd he go? The Huckabee is about to launch. He's probably in the Type 2 with Kusaha. What? Boy, some people. Cut him some slack. He's going into combat. Wait, is he doing what we think he's doing? I thought he was too shy for stuff like that. All right, then help me adjust the Huckabee Mark II. Uh, wide open my big mouth. Huh, sounds interesting. What do you think? Well, I want to root for both of them, but she's sort of dense. That's what I hear. Honestly, I'm not sure what to do. Huh, guess all we could do is wait and see. It's all up to them. He just had, uh, just had to land a good one. So, I guess, yeah, with uh, Ryusei not basically uh, kind of ignoring Kusaha, I think it's a... Uh, I think it's a... Uh, we may be going a different direction than we expected. And then we settle everything. Like I said, they need to resolve it on their own. Sorry, I tend to jump the gun. But if we leave it up to them, nothing may happen. Uh, they're trying to play matchmaker, huh? Yeah. How about pinning her? Nah, no, that's not right. I bet you have some stories. Well, I don't mean to brag, but... Cool, we gotta get together for a gossip session. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you those two talking about? Beats me. That's women for ya. We better get, go soon. Hey, do you know where Aya went? No, why? She's not at the base. What the heck is she doing now? Then anyway, we get the R gun. So now we can actually use it again. So, um, or we can now use it uh, for ourselves. So despair, uh, we got a repair module, a restore module. So now we get multiple ones. So yay. All right. And with that, everyone is part of the team now. So we now got the, well, not everyone, obviously from the Kiosk path, but pretty much most of the characters are now on the team. We now have a point in the game where we now have to decide who to actually put into groups. Uh, the Hagane and the Hiryu Custom for most battles are required to be deployed because they house those specific units. So they are required, so you don't have to worry about that, but we have to choose 12 units. I suggest at least two to three support, um, depending on how you do things. Uh, I'll probably end up using Garnet and Rata, and unfortunately put uh, Russell in the back burner because, like I said, uh, Russell competes with Gar Garnet on on usability, and because we've been using Garnet throughout the whole game, she immediately gets top billing in terms of uh, um, use overall. So unfortunately, Russell will probably be tagged. But I'll do all that off screen. You'll find out what who I use for what unit, because I'll be shifting some people around from the mechs to make it more useful for certain characters overall. But yeah, that's uh, that's it for the paths. Now everyone's truly together. So at this point, Kiyosuke would also have everyone together because he would have the exact same battle 
as them, but you would have a more of an advantage because all those characters were part of his group, so they would have their levels at that time. Oh, now that the group's all together, what will our first mission be? Will the DC be causing more trouble? And will a certain, uh, will a couple of certain ladies appear that will change things? And a mech that will make you question the whole design of personal troopers in this whole game? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Super Bob Tyson OG. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.